The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we'll start out here with the uh, DAX, and then we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Um, as you can see here, the DAX has been in a minor downtrend uh, for the last day or two, if you can count it that. We did make a 1.27 expansion, then we backed off a little bit, rallied up to a 61% retracement, and now we're looks like we're getting ready to test the 10,000 500 level uh, one more time. Uh, below that, we'll send it into a much uh, more bearish mode. So uh, just keep in mind that that's something that uh, you want to be watching. Now, I wanted to uh, spend just a second here going down memory lane. I got a phone call last night from a, a private investigating firm out of uh, Beverly Hills that I knew about. Anyway, he had a question about a customer from uh, Gibson, Dunn, and Crutcher. That's one of the premier law firms in the world. Uh, it's in, uh, headquartered in Los Angeles. In 1986, in January of 86, I was working as an expert witness for an, an attorney that worked uh, for Gibson, Dunn & Crutcher because they didn't do a lot in financial law. They jobbed it out. And this attorney was one of the gentlemen that uh, they jobbed it out for. And he asked me to go down to... Um, the Gibson Dunn and Crutcher office and, uh, you know, sit in with the attorneys around this case to try to, you know, explain to them what happened. And believe me, you, this, this, if you ever have a chance to do anything like this, it was 1986 and they had just completed the Security Pacific Bank building in downtown Los Angeles, right off of um, uh, Hill Street, I believe. And anyway, this was a fabulous, a fabulous building. I mean, you just couldn't believe how luxurious it was. They owned, they had 20 floors uh, in the building, and uh, they had valet parking, you know, for the customers that came in. And uh, it, it had an ongoing buffet all day long. It was just, uh, you know, it was really something. So I go in uh, to the office, into the um, lobby, and I'm waiting. I'm up on the 20th floor, and it goes from the 20th to the 30th floor to the 30th. No, to the 40th. And I'm looking at, I'm reading the uh, names on the, uh, the the attorney's names. And I come across a name that literally made me bust out laughing. I just couldn't stand it. I, I'll give you the guy, I'll tell you a whole story about this. His name was Cantwell F. Muckenfuss. That was his name. And I just said, oh, what a cool name. I said, this, that is really, you know, I had a big smile on my face. But boy, if that's not a cool name. So I go up to the offices. And I happened to be waiting, and I asked the receptionist. I said, um, Cantwell F. Muckenfuss. I said, is that the Muckenfusses from San Marino? And uh, she said, why, yes, it is. And I said, uh, don't they belong to the uh, Los Angeles Country Club? And she said, well, yes, they do. And I was taking a sophisticated guess. That's all I was doing. Anyway, that, that name was so unusual, I couldn't believe it. You won't believe the next part of this. I go into the meeting. And guess who's running the meeting? Cantwell F. Muckenfuss, who's a, absolutely a really nice guy. And um, he, he actually has been on CNBC. He's retired now, but he was a his, his specialty was bond, um, bo uh, corporate bonds. Uh, he, he made sure all the, you know, the stuff was done right on corporate bonds. I was there to do a case on um, uh, over trading uh, for one of their very large accounts. Gibson, Gunn & Crutcher, uh, their biggest account was uh, Walter Annenberg. Well, they had some corporate accounts, but B Walter Annenberg was the richest man in California. He was the one that got uh, Ronald Reagan elected. Uh, Reagan was a customer there. Sinatra, I mean, there was just, you know, everybody that was anybody uh, went through Gibson, Dunn, and Crutcher. They didn't lose many cases, that's for sure. Anyway, get back to the markets. Yeah, you know, it's, that's, it's an incredible name, but he's actually a really nice guy. And, uh, but boy, he comes from a, he comes, he's a real blue blood. Let me tell you, this guy is, uh, 
He didn't come from Terre Haute, Indiana. I can promise you that. All right, let's take a look at some of these trades we were looking at yesterday. Uh, the first one, of course, was the um, the crude oil. We had a perfect ABCD pattern up there uh, at the 47 and 4760 and change level. Uh, it got to 4780. Um, then it's backed off now. We backed off a little more than a buck and a half from that. It looks like we're going to come down uh, about $2 to the 4540 level. There's two numbers setting there. There's a nice 61% retracement uh, off of the, uh, oh, I did those numbers wrong, folks. Those are reversed. The first one should be 786, and the second one should be um, 786. Yeah, no, the first one should be 786, and the second one should be 618. Sorry about that. Early in the morning blues, I guess. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here uh, in the um, in this particular uh, pattern. We have this ABCD. I've got another pattern. To, let's cover these others that we did yesterday, and then we've got another one that, that fits into this same type of format that we had with the um, hello. Uh, with the crude oil. We want to be able to watch that. We better do that because I'm on the same train of thought, otherwise I'll mess it up. Okay, let's take a look here at another the same pattern. If you want to see crude oil, this is it again. Here's the same pattern in crude oil, only this is December corn. Uh, December corn has that perfect ABCD pattern. We're setting right up at the 78% retracement. Uh, it's in a bear market, for God's sakes. I mean, we just made new contract lows you know, back on uh, the 31st of August, and all we're doing now is having a two-week rally. So this is in a downtrend. You have an ABCD, and Yardley said, if you have an ABCD pattern in a downtrend, that's mostly probably a good sell. If you go back to look at the time between the 12th of September and the 19th of Sept uh, 12th of August to the 19th of August, you'll notice that's very similar to the move that we just completed here. You have, in fact, that's what sets up a parallel channel line. That's basically, uh, you know, what we're looking at. So keep an eye on that. That's a very, very interesting one um, that looks interesting. In fact, if I had a trade of the day today, and if I had a trade of the day today for a scalp, I would probably uh, be looking at that one uh, without, uh, you know, any um, any missing it at all. I mean, I think that would be a really good one to uh, take a very good look at. So the other one that we wanted to watch, of course, um, was the uh, the dollar index which we were using the euro? Uh, this is the one that I think is really running the whole show here, folks. But uh, if you remember when that euro got up to the 113.10 uh, year level yesterday, you know it looked like we were getting ready to, you know, turn. At that particular time, we were setting exactly at the 78% retracement on the dollar index at uh, 94.50. So that set that up as a perfect, you know, uh, trading opportunity from, you know, a standpoint of looking at, uh, you know, the, the patterns and the ratios coming together at the same time. And that's all you really have when you're doing this is you're, you're, you have those, uh, you have the two things. And if you have both of them coming together, then you have a situation where pattern and time and price, everything meets together. Now, you don't know if it's going to win or not, but those are the kind that you'd uh, – that you like to see because those are the ones that give you the best uh, the best bangs for the bucks. If we take a look at that euro that we were looking at yesterday, you'll notice that it went right up to the uh, just a tick or two above the 78% retracement is broken well over $1,000. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay. <clears throat> okay, folks, let me um, talk a little bit about the last one that we looked at yesterday, and that was the Dow Jones uh, chart. As you can see, I've marked in the red boxes uh, we hit the 78% retracement uh, four times, I believe, over the past um, couple of weeks, especially the last eight days. And yesterday, we took out the previous highs by one or two ticks, uh, which is basically nothing when an index is 18,000, you know, a 500 and change. And of course, we've broken down uh, from that level. So uh, this looks like it does want to go lower. We'll, we'll cover the S&P. Uh, as we uh, move on through here. In fact, I will probably do uh, do the S&P next. I did want to mention one more thing about uh, my my time when I was spending at Gibson, Dunn & Crutcher. Um, one of the most exclusive places in Los Angeles that uh, almost no one ever gets to go to uh, is the uh, Los Angeles Country Club. If you ever drive down Wilshire Boulevard, and you'll see a bunch of trees on the left, and you don't know what that is. That's the Beverly Hills Country Club. It sits on a massive oil well that they own. Um, to get into that place, it, at that time, it had, a, it had a waiting list of over 70 years. In other words, you, you only got in by being uh, either a relative uh, or a sibling uh, of the people that were there. It was mainly uh, judges. There were very few doctors. There were a few uh, famous doctors that belonged to it, but it was mostly judges and attorneys and uh, a beautiful country club. They've never had any golf tournaments or anything like that. They, their, their fees are just exorbitant, but they make a lot of money just off the oil, but it's very, very snobbish. I mean, it is, it's like the one from um, Duke and Duke uh, back in the days when uh, they were at the old Philadelphia club during the movie trading places, but it's really, uh, really super sophisticated. They're never in the news. But uh, it's really a place. I had to go there twice during my days uh, at Drexel once to deliver papers and a second time to deliver cougar ends. 
And uh, both times I went in, I never got any closer than the lobby. So it was uh, it was really, uh, really an amazing place, though. OK, let's get on to the uh, markets. The next one we want to take a look at here, folks, is the S&P, because we are coming down to some very, very critical levels here today. We're not very far away. Uh, I don't have the updated prices because I just did this about a half hour ago. But as you can see, uh, over the past uh, nine trading days, we're now down to near the 78% retracement at the 2156 uh, level. At that level, you're going to have a 1.618 expansion of the move from September 6th to, to September 8th, yesterday when we made that slightly higher high. And then also, you're going to have a 78% retracement of the low from September 1st. Anything below that level, 2150, uh, well, 2152 would uh, most probably tell you that you've uh, you started a trend down. Now, remember the market, um, the Nasdaq has made higher highs uh, in 10 of the last 10 of the last 11 weeks. Now, if you look at the New York Stock Exchange Index and also the S&P and also the Dow, you're not seeing that same type of strength. So it's only a few stocks, you know, that are doing this. But you know, we've been hearing this over and over again. You know, you get tired of you know, saying the same things, but that's exactly what's been happening. You know, if it's not a it's not a mystery of what's going on with that. That's just uh, the way it is. Okay, now let's get to the uh, let's get to the where the pedal meets the metal, boys and girls. We are at the proverbial moment of truth here in the silver and gold market. I'm going to post it first and then check prices second because, uh oh, just a second here. I gotta move this over just a tad so I can. Okay, you'll see here uh, silver uh, over the past, going back to August, uh, today's low, which came in at, I believe, 1949 in the, uh, the Christmas silver. Um, that is a 20-man line going back to August. Uh, it's also a 30, uh, almost a perfect 38% retracement at that level. We also have a very, very close uh, ABCD pattern at that level so uh, this is the thing that you that you want to uh, really really watch now if we take a look at the gold market which is much easier to trade than the silver market we're going to see a, a market that is just a little bit easier uh, to uh, to see where it is that's from my perspective I mean because it's really gold is much more liquid than silver I mean silver jumps 20 cents like uh, uh, the rabbit going after ch being chased by a fox. So hold on just a second here, but we'll take a look at this, and you'll see that we've completed. This was from uh, early last night that we completed the uh, ABCD pattern down here at the 1337. We had a minor rally of three dollars, which doesn't mean anything, but anything below 1335 is going to tell you that this market is heading down. And that's that's not a good sign if you're bullish. And we're waiting to buy, but this is a Friday, and it's going to be, actually, it looks like it's going to be close to being a down week because we're only $5 up on the week after being up as high as $35 on the week. So it's better, you know, to wait until Monday to, uh, you know, to buy it. That's my opinion. However, if you want to buy it today, your your stop wants to be around 1334. If we get below that, there's something, you know, most probably uh, most probably wrong. Now, why do I say this is so important? Two things that I think that we re really should look at, and that let's just do one at a time here. I want to bring up first is the platinum, because as uh, we look at platinum, what's happened here? Boy, I'm having trouble with doing this. There we go. All right, we'll put the platinum up. You'll see. Um, Last week, when we hit that bottom in platinum at the 1050 uh, per ounce level, we rallied all the way up $55 to the exact 382 of the high that we made back in August. The gold made a 78% retracement. The silver made a 61% retracement. But platinum was falling behind. Now, that's just one thing that's important. If we take a look at the long-term objective or long-term price of gold here, and we're going to take a look at this because I think this is real. This was brought to our attention by um, one of our good friends from uh, New York, one of our good de paisans. And if you'll give me one second, I'll put this long term chart in for gold. And you'll hold on here a second here. Hold on. <laughs> 
Uh, someone just put a nice quote in here. Very good, P-O-L-R. It's from, from the, the, the book Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. It says, do you wish to gamble blindly in hope of getting a great big profit, or do you wish to speculate intelligently and get a smaller but more profitable profit? Jesse Livermore, that's, that's absolutely true. Just remember, what we try to do here is intelligent risk speculation. That's what our job is as a trader. All right, let's take a look at this gold weekly chart. You'll notice that we made that one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle at the 1380 level. We were also, and this is what I think is the most important of all, is that we were at a 382 retracement of the 2011 high. Folks, if you were looking at this on an interday basis, you'll see or any side basis of uh, weekly, daily, or any. This is a bearish market because you've got lower highs and lower bottoms. You see the beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern down in December. You know, that led to a 30% rally in gold, but now we have to see what the pullback is going to be, and we could be a little bit lower yet. Okay, stay tuned. I think we have Janet Yellen up today, but uh, we'll see if we can get her on the line. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, this next set of charts uh, are from our good friend Obi-Wan Tanobi. Mr. Tom O'Brien, who warned us that these bonds were looking like they were ready to head lower, 
and that's certainly what's happened. This is what's happened yesterday. You'll notice here uh, we went down to the 1.27 and then rallied. Uh, we actually rallied uh, one full point. What I wanted to do was to bring you up to date uh, what's happened since that time so that you can see that we have uh, – hold on one second. Doc on it. You know, I always have a hard time with that, but I should do it the easy way. Hold on a second here. Pretty. Oh, dear. You know what I have, darn, is I get these darn uh, windows, and they, then I can't get them separated, and that makes it a little difficult. Okay, we're going to take a look here. Now, the, if you'll notice here, we went down to the 1.618 level uh, in the bonds. That's a really important level, folks. Um, it's held there so far right around this 167. you got to give it about uh, eight points here because uh, it's a pretty active. It's the most active traded of any of the commodities uh, that up. Well, Treasury notes is first, uh, bonds is second. So watch this one very, very closely because it's it's pretty much spot on, uh, you know, with where it's supposed to be. Because anything below this 1.618 level, like uh, 167, 166.24, would tell us that we're going to go lower. And it looks like uh, we're at the moment of truth here in a couple of uh, uh, these things we're watching. One is the gold market. The second. Uh, gold and silver, and the second, of course, is the S&P. We're right at this level of uh, 2156 as we open here uh, this morning. So keep an eye on that. That is really, really strong support because if that gets anything below 2152, that would tell you that you're most uh, probably wrong. But this early selling this morning, uh, getting it down right at this level, we'll see if that's going to be the case. What's amazing to me is the fact that we're getting selling in both stocks and bonds. Uh, that uh, that's you know basically uh, you know something that, that doesn't happen too often. So uh, we just hit that magic number there in the S and P. Now whether that holds it or not, you know remains to be seen. So just keep an eye on it because it is an important uh, level of resistance. Just like we were at 2185 yesterday, 30 handles higher, that was strong resistance. Now we're coming down to strong support. That's all based on patterns, folks. It has nothing to do with fundamentals or anything of that nature. Nothing at all. There's just nothing there other than the patterns and the ratios. That's what we do, you know, with pattern recognition is to try, uh, you know, to do those particular things. Now, we've had a request to take a look at one of the stocks that we mentioned a week or so ago when it was trading up at around uh, that 100. 109 level, and that happens to be the uh, the stock of uh, Apple. And as you can see, uh, we've come off about uh, just about four points off that high. But the key uh, thing to look at with the Apple is the fact that if you look at since uh, 2015, this market has been in a pro profound downtrend. Uh, we've had lower tops and lower bottoms. If you'll notice during that period from January till June, you'll see the the three peaks up there where you had the uh, head and shoulders pattern. That was from January, and then the head would have been at April, and then the right shoulder would have been in July, and then we started the move to the downside. And we have three major targets uh, in Apple at uh, around 80, between 82 and 85. That's down 20%. From where it is uh, right now, I don't know if that's going to happen, but this, uh, you know, quickly or not. But if you'll notice, over a two-month period, we've had more than two 20% uh, corrections. We had one from April to July, November to January, and then also from April to May. So it's not unusual for Apple to do this. And you know, this is the most uh, widely held stock, I believe, in the world now. It's. Uh, I think it's the most heavily capitalized stock, as I recall. Uh, maybe Amazon has passed them up. I'm not sure. But uh, if not, they'll probably pass them up tomorrow. But who knows? But anyway, this is what it looks like. Now, anything above, you know, 110 would tell you that there's something, you know, wrong here. And the market most probably would be going uh, a little bit uh, higher instead of uh, where we're looking at. Now, uh, we started the week with uh, something very unusual happening. I wanted to review, you know, what we're looking at here because it's uh, it's certainly followed through, and that is the um, Hang Seng Index. You know, we uh, 
We had a beautiful ABCD expansion on Friday. Uh, it was a 1.618. It was an ABCD. And what did we do? We gapped up substantially, about 2.5% above that line. And we went up every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we went to the 61% retracement of the high from last March. Uh, there is a little bit of a, of a shooting star or yeah, shooting star pattern there. Uh, on the daily, but uh, when, when we gapped above that, the key was that you wait one day because if it makes a higher high the next day, it tells you that the market still wants to go higher, and that is in fact what we've done. Now, what I do is when the market does something like this, I try to see why I could have missed something, and the only thing I can do is I look at the AB leg, and I see that the ABCD should have stopped exactly where it did on Friday, and it didn't. So once it gaps up, I want to do the expansion. So I take the AB leg and I multiply it times 1.27, and that takes you to the exact high uh, today in the Hang Seng. So this, you made the high in the Hang Seng today, or is something's really wrong. <laughs> so we'll, we'll follow this one next week. But um, this certainly did gap up and continue going, and we wanted to see, you know, what happens with it, because we need to follow follow these along even when they fail you've got to learn something from them and that's the key you know to learning from all these things that you want to be able to see how some of these things you know line up as far as uh, uh, you know the patterns because they they fail and when they fail you don't want to stand in in front of them as a matter of fact some people uh, some of the best trades that they do are when you have the uh, you, you trade in the direction of the pattern. In other words, if it breaks beyond the 78% retracement, you know that it has a high probability to go to 1.27. So you can enter on that breakout of 78%, and then you know hopefully that it'll go up to the 1.27. That's all part of risk control and money management, which is uh, really, really, really heavy material that you got to cover. And these are the things that uh, Steve Rhodes does a lot, and also uh, you know Basil. And, uh, in fact, all the guys in there, John Logan does it all, Andy does it, and David White. So, you know, everybody, and so, of course, Tom and Tommy do that also because it's all about risk. You know, you don't know which ones of the trades are going to work. You never know that, and you never know how much you're going to make on a trade. So the only thing you can really do is to depend on how much you have to risk because that's the only thing you have control of in the risk-reward um, equation. I had a question about stocks and and how do um, you know how do you put your your risk in on stocks? I found that if you use a three percent value of the stock, let's take a look at uh, Goldman Sachs trading for about 170. Uh, if you if you take three percent of uh, Goldman Sachs, that will get you about five dollars a share. So if you're going to trade Goldman Sachs, you have to risk about five dollars a share. If you look at Apple. You know, trading uh, at a one uh, one oh eight. Okay, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from EverBank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is. 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber 
as they host their daily options program live at noon, five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we've got our first caller today, Charlie from Massachusetts. Are you there, my friend? Yes, Larry, I am. Can you hear me okay? I hear you perfectly. What can I help you with? Wonderful. Um, L-A-B-D. Okay. All right, we're taking a look at it. What is this, Charlie? Is it a stock or an ETF? No, no it's an ETF. It's not in your wheelhouse, but <laughs> you can read the chart. I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> well, yeah, hopeful, that's the key word. Uh, tell me, what is it? what is it of? Um, I believe it's like biotech, um, like maybe labs or something of that sort. Uh huh. In other words, to be buying the biotechs? No, to sell them. Uh, okay. The D well, is down, I think. Okay. Well, I I put the uh, biotech index uh, in this morning. That was the first chart that I posted, and it's certainly in a sell mode, in my opinion. Now, would that be a buy mode for this one? Correct. That is correct. Yes, I, I could see that, and I, you know, you're trading at like 2096, so you know you could risk about a dollar, and I think you would probably be, uh, you should probably be safe. Say three percent of that would be uh, 66 cents. So if you wanted to only risk 66 cents, your stop would be at around uh, say 2022, 20, something like that. Okay, and what do you see the upside? Short well, term. if you look, I'm well, short term. Uh, that's simple because if you look at the last two rallies, we had one in May that went from uh, we went from 31 to 53. That's 22 points. And we had one in June that went from uh, went from 30 to 48, which was a 18 point. So we had 22, 18. So if you split that in half, 11 dollars, you know, would get you up to uh, 31 and change. You know, that's a that would be a 10 to one return. Fantastic. Well, I'll probably sell it before it gets that high. Too vol too much volatility out here, Larry. Uh, well, just don't watch the machine very much, and you won't see any volatility at all. It's like watching paint dry on these stocks. <laughs> okay, my friend. Thank you very much for yes, your advice. Yes. You bet, Charlie. If you want volatility, go to foreign exchange. <laughs> <laughs> there you uh, go. Thank hey, you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for calling in. I certainly appreciate it. Yeah, okay, bye folks. Bye. You bet. Thanks for calling in. Um, all right, we're going to be looking here and see if we're going to hold these lows now in the um, the Z Mini S and P. So far, we've had we got down to 54. The number we were looking at was 55, 2155. So keep a very close eye on that. The the key thing that um, 
is also happening is we're really we're really trying to hold in both gold and silver but frankly it doesn't look like it wants to uh, do that very much now the last chart that i posted uh, before the labd oh i didn't put that one in because i was getting ready to talk to charlie i wanted to show you what we're looking at here in the euro because uh, we posted the daily i wanted to bring it up on a 30 minute chart so you can see the ratios a little better and yes, I am using the Christmas um, E-mini S&P now because uh, they roll over on the second Thursday of the month. But you could still trade the September's all the way through next week if you wanted to. But I do the rolling over usually on Monday, this this coming Monday. Uh, by the way, um, let me let me finish this euro. But uh, uh, yeah, well, I can only move so fast. So hold on, just give me a second. <laughs> all right, here's the uh, euro. You'll see we're getting down very, very close to the ABCD um, point that we look at, which would be the first support, which would be around this 112 level uh, in the euro. It's important that it holds up. We've got a lot of things that, that major support right here on the opening, so we want to be looking at it. Uh, to, to, we have a very interesting weekend here. We have uh, Arch Crawford's going to be on on um, uh, Tuesday. Uh, you know what? What did I do wrong here? Do you know, I think Arch was supposed to be on today. Wow, I did something wrong. Alfie Lavoie is going to be on Tuesday. Uh, Bill Meridian is going to be here from on Monday, uh, on Wednesday, and I believe that Arch is going to be on on Monday. I didn't have Arch's name down, and he didn't call me. Oh, well, I, uh, let, me, let me worry about that later. Okay, um, first of all, we have an anniversary date tomorrow. Uh, that's the anniversary date of Mark Douglas passing away. It's been one year already. Uh, following that, we have the 9-11, which was one of the worst days in the United States history, only surpassed by uh, December 7th, 1941. So, uh, you know, just remember those folks as you go through the weekend. We lost a whole lot of people uh, on those dates, uh, some, you know, very, very... Uh, Everybody's important, but when you lose that many people at one time, you know, it was amazing. I, uh, it, it just was truly uh, a really, really sad time. We're going to have Arch on because Arch and I were talking as the planes were hitting. Uh, when the first plane hit, Arch and I were talking, and, of course, we went. he went right back into trading. They were still trading the S&P. It traded for a good hour. Uh, I think 20 minutes later, the second plane hit. And then it was about 20 minutes after that when they finally closed it. But they had moved down about five or five or six handles uh, down at that time. Uh, and then when they closed it, they didn't open for, I believe, seven or eight days. Uh, and then they, they opened a little bit higher. And then they started to go lower. They went down for, you know, all the way into October. Then they had a 61% rally, a huge rally. And then it made its third and final bottom you know, down into late October of 2001. But we'll cover some of that with uh, with Arch when we have him on uh, next week. So we're going to have three guests next week, Arch Crawford, uh, Alfie Lavoie from Air Software, and Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. So they, they always stay tuned because they have some really good, uh, really good information. And two of them are, all three of these guys are astrologer, And so we'll put their feet to the fire and see who they think is going to be uh, our next president. And they're pretty good at picking those things, so we'll, we'll see, what, see what really happens. So we'll see what we're doing here right now. Uh, so far, we are holding that level in the S&P. We're about, uh, oh, about nine pips away from the target here uh, in the euro. Um, the uh, gold is breaking down now, folks. This is not a good sign. Uh, you know, I, I bought some gold here, and I, my stop is uh, closer than a mouse you know, chasing the cheese. So uh, be really, really careful in here. And uh, the silver, let's just double check it here really quickly, because if it gets below uh, 1948, that's not a good sign in the silver. Let me double check to see where it is here. And we will give you a rough idea that we are, oh, we're already at night. We're already a nickel below that. The, the silver and gold are failing, folks. We're heading down. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch them here. That's the bottom line. Uh, so we'll see. You don't have to risk more than that. The 20-minute line that was there uh, in the silver has now been, you know, been banged around. So we might be looking at red all across the board here. You know, we got currencies red. We got uh, 
the S&P index is red, the Dow Jones is red, the NASDAQ is red, the bonds are red, uh, crude oil is red. Uh, you know, this is a lot of red out there. Maybe there's margin calls coming. I don't know. So we'll watch to see uh, how some of these things unfold. Uh, we're even breaking now below the 1.618 in the bonds. Uh, it should have held 167, and we're now trading at 166.29. Uh, so we're already, uh, you know, three or four pips below that, and that's a huge market. Three or four pips in that market is a lot. 877-927-6648. My name is Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and host of the Trader's Ed Show heard daily here at TFNN.com. On Wednesday, September 14th at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a special one-hour event, The Ultimate Reversal Patterns. I'll teach subscribers how to identify and trade market tops and bottoms. You'll learn Tom DeMarc's TD Setup, TD Sequential, and TD Combo. Plus, I'll show you how to identify Gartley buy and sell patterns, which means you'll learn how to master the D point of any A to B equals CD pattern. More importantly, I'll teach you the most powerful pattern of all by practicing relative strength divergent pattern. These patterns work for stocks, for ETFs, future contracts, currencies, and these patterns work on every time frame. By signing up for Mastering Probability right now, you get the first month of my newsletter service for only $49, and that includes Wednesday's Ultimate Reversal Patterns webinar. This $49 offer is only good through September 14th, so act now. At only $49 for your first month, I guarantee this is an investment that you won't regret. For all the details of the upcoming workshop and reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFN.com now. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a chart here from one of our listeners who uh, is an expert in a lot of different things, volume dynamics. His name is Tom Beck. And uh, he's showing you here the relationship of the volume that we had in gold with the Brexit, that so many people came in to buy the gold uh, at that time when we had the UJBCD that measured up there to that uh, 1380 level. And now you've seen, you know, the three lower tops, the 135 pattern, and we're starting to come down. We should have held that 382 retracement today, folks, at 1336, but we have not. And so I would assume that we are getting ready to go lower. How much lower, you know, remains to be seen. Now, remember, this has been a one heck of a bull market. We moved over 30% since December. So we could easily get down to that 1275 level 
that we're looking at on a longer time frame. So uh, just remember, you don't want to get married to some of these positions. You know, try to, you know, pick a spot where you're going to be able to, you know, find something that's going to give you a relatively good risk to reward and then take your best, uh, you know, intelligent risk speculation. As you can see, we're breaking down now uh, in the S&P and also uh, in uh, the gold and also in the bonds and we and also in the crude oil so all these things are starting to uh, capitulate one on top of the other how much it goes uh, from that level we'll have to wait and see there should be uh, pretty strong support in the S&P down about another 7 or 8 points at that uh, 2145 level but we've certainly broken below the key support at the 2155 and that's not unusual because we're in mammature hour you know, that first hour, watch and see what happens at the top or at uh, at night at 1030. That's the key key time to be watching uh, from our perspective anyway of looking at some of these things. Anyway, that that's what we're watching. The um, other question we have is about the grain markets. Um, that corn to me looks like uh, it was a, uh, a really good sale up in that level, whether it's going to be that or not. Uh, it was an ABCD pattern. You know, coming in, uh, you know, right at the 78% uh, uh, retracement. Uh, well, it's down about four cents right now from that level, so it looks like it is right. Have a wonderful weekend. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.